might this might become a YouTube segment. <laughs> Cause why not, right? You're commenting initially that you thought your Natalie Portman image, the color felt a bit off. And I can see what you're talking about. So I think one of the biggest things you can do is switch black and white, which is what you did. And uh, the reason why I say you switched black and white is because colors can be off for a number of different reasons, right? Right? It could be that the color harmony is not feeling proper. Uh, there's just something kind of off in that sense. It could be that the values aren't being done properly. So if you can switch to black and white, you are then eliminating like saturation and color harmony out of the equation. So you're, you're basically cutting out all the extra variables and we're isolating it down to uh, value accuracy, right? And if you look at here, your values are actually pretty strong. Like there's maybe some areas you can punch up the shadows a bit more. Like if I'm looking at, for example, like the shadow casted by her, the tip of her nose onto her upper lip. You have it there, you can probably play that up a bit more. Or like the shadow kind of like in this inner crease of the cheek, kind of like running along like the side of her mouth down her her chin right there. Like you can probably play that, that up a bit a smidge more. Of course my camera's blocking the way here. But yeah, you can probably play up like the shadow here more, for example. Even like the shadow like above her eye. Some of that's actually darker because of the makeup, the eye makeup. Paimon, you're, you're actually just jamming out too much right now. <laughs> but yeah, so those are just sort of like subtle things that maybe you could play up. Um, in terms of just kind of pushing the value. But the value for the most part, in particular, your big concern, the skin tone, I think is actually pretty good. Like, And, and one of the things about, I think, painting uh, people, especially more like feminine and like softer subjects like this, is that the more intensely you paint value transitions, the, the more you age a subject too. So sometimes subtlety is something that you have to kind of pay attention to where you kind of work more from the mid-tones or you, you don't really push like really stark or distinct contrast of like light versus shadow or you only push those darker areas on really deliberate spaces like, you know, again, for example, like the nose, the tip of the nose casting a shadow. You, you kind of like carve in and really like cook up that uh, darker shadow there instead. So the majority of her face, it's really this kind of like this, this general kind of flat gray tone with some minor highlights like on the brow, the, the forehead, the cheeks. The cheeks are always going to be a big thing right there. The, uh, the nose bone is always going to be a big one there too. Lips. Any area like eyeballs or lips where there's more moisture, you'll get brighter value. So you're actually doing really well in terms of capturing, I think, subtle value. So if value isn't the issue that you're having in terms of accuracy, what is the issue? And uh, I think in this case, it's more so, it's not the color harmony, it's more so just the, I think the color choices. The, the immediate thing that pops out to me is saturation of some of your, your, your color selections. Your, the base kind of hue, this base sort of neutral flat value of her, her skin tone has a lot more pigment. A lot more like, it's not like really like deep orange, but you kind of like subtly chose to put more orange into like her like rosy area of the cheek, which is fine. But in, in actuality, there's a lot more kind of pigment and saturation into the, the majority of her skin tone. So I think I think what's feeling off here for you is that you're, you're lacking saturation through the, the majority of her skin. And, uh, you know, her highlights still have some pigment to them as well, but they're a little more desaturated in very like select areas, like very, very minor spots. So the desaturated spots on her face are really just the, the very small, um, like highlighted areas, like the little bit up here on her forehead, the little bit above here, like on her brow, that little highlight there on her cheekbone, the bit down her like nose bone right there, the bits on her lips. They're still, they're still hue, they're still color mixed in there. But those are the areas that are actually being hit directly by light, or they're obviously like they're wetter, so like they're, you know, they're also getting more light because they're wetter as well, right? Um, like the lips and the eyeballs, for example. But those are the areas which are feeling very much brighter value, but also less pigment or like saturation in your color choice. Where I feel like you, you kind of uh, mirrored like that saturation or lack thereof on the majority of her face. And so I, I, her general kind of like skin tone feels um, like it's, it's being hit by a different light source altogether. Like she, and I, and I think that's why it's throwing you off. Your values are great though, and I think the likeness is there too. Like you kind of mentioned you thought the eyes were off a smidge, and there's probably some proportional things you could change to kind of capture her likeness a bit more too. But for just purely addressing color, um, 
yeah, I think the values are really working well. I would try to work a little bit more pigment or saturation into the majority of her face and then really saving these sort of undercooked or undersaturated areas a bit more uh, just for like the, the, the key highlighted areas, if that makes sense. But yeah, I think that thing is good, man. And I, I think this is a really good tool here too, because honestly, like, if you hadn't if you hadn't made uh, color choices that work very good for value, they would have shown up here. So I think your color choices, at the very least, value wise, are working really well. So you 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 got past the hard part of getting proper colors that fit within a value range that you need to kind of carve the face in, because the face here actually works really well in black and white. So if you can nail this, then it's just a matter of like finding how you how you tweak the hues and tweak the colors to to get the kind of uh, feel or vibrancy that you're looking for. So it's actually really close. It just it feels a little under undercooked, a little undersaturated, and a little muddy because of that. So I don't know. Hopefully that helps a little bit right there. More of a, more of a peachy tone. Yeah. No. Exactly. Yeah. But those are those are really easy tweaks you can make. You know.